Hi, welcome to part 2. First, let's do a little housekeeping. Let's rename the cylinder to Jet Outer Layer. And rename the empty to Outer Layer G Control. Next, select the Jet Outer Layer and rename the material assigned to it to Jet Plume Outer Layer. Back in the viewport, let's duplicate the Jet Outer Layer by pressing Shift D and rename it the Jet Inner Layer. Also duplicate the material assigned to it and rename it to Jet Plume Inner Layer. Now let's scale down the Jet Inner Layer. Scale it again on the x-axis by 1.8. Now, we need a separate controller for the inner layer. So let's duplicate the outer layer G control and rename it to inner layer G control. Now select the jet inner layer object, then go to the shader editor and change the texture coordinate object from outer layer G control to inner layer G control. Now, scaling the inner layer G control will scale the gradient of the jet inner layer. Now it's time to change the color of the inner layer. In the shader editor, go to the color wrap and change the middle color stop to something purple. Let's isolate the inner plume Let's refine the inner plume so that it will blend better with the outer plume. For this, we will need another Fresnel node and a Color Ramp node. Let's duplicate the Fresnel and Color Ramp node we did we used before. Let's mix these two Color Ramps together. In the bottom Color Ramp, let's change the middle color to something orange. Let's change the blending mode to multiply and set the factor to 1. Adjust the color ramp color stops as needed to make the blending between the two colors more visible. Here, I'm just adjusting the roughness and detail values for the jet plume in the inner layer material to make the plume a bit smoother. Exit out of isolate mode. Let's do the same thing with the jet plume outer layer material to make it smoother also.
Let's edit the jet inner layer and turn on proportional editing and scale the vertices at the right side of the jet inner layer. Here, I am pressing Shift X while scaling to exclude the X axis from scaling. Here, if you want to make the jet plume a bit longer, just select all the elements and scale from the X axis. Thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial.